guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. Today I have something special for you. Today I have my very first guide on the new mode of TFT, uh, Double Up. Okay, not that new anymore, but you know what I mean. So um, I've been enjoying it a lot and I play it with my friends all the time and yeah, one of the best strategies definitely out there is to make a free star focused and it, that's not too, too much to ask, uh, really, uh, in this mode. You have more time, you have more HP, more gold, more resources, so you need something stronger than a two-star focus by the end of it. So uh, let's see how we did it. And yeah, additionally to that, uh, this game featured three prismatic augments, so I think that's pretty exciting too. Right, so as our first augment we choose the high-end shopping. Um, the other options were not too bad, the two Thieves Gloves um, are pretty useful, you can always use them throughout the entire game and also the Woodland Charm is pretty good, although not that much in the beginning I think because the units are not that strong, but later on uh, obviously it could be really good if you have two Tam Kenj for example or just two Brahms or something like that, two Yumis, that's, that's always pretty good. But I went with the high-end shopping because I really like the augment and I like high-cost carries and just you're just gonna hit them earlier and usually you don't have to go 9 to hit all your legendaries. So uh, that's a pretty big money save there. So for opening board we got the innovators, uh, we got a Heimer early and we're just gonna use Caitlyn as our item holder and yeah we could even either make a Runance or a Last Whisper here so um, yeah, I go for the Last Whisper because I'm thinking about, um, obviously with Last Whisper and Runans you're always going to think about Yoni or Urgot or Jin. Um, that's it's a really good thing about AD comms right now that you basically pretty much build the same items. Um, yeah, I built the Last Whisper because I think it's the most uh, flexible. Uh, Jin doesn't necessarily need Runans, so um, I think Last Whisper goes in all three of them, so uh, that's why I picked that. And yeah, as I said, I, um, I play this with my friends, so uh, we are on Discord and uh, communicate, so he just tells me what item he wants and I send him over uh, whatever he wants. So the early game uh, pretty much follows the same pattern as always. You wanna slam levels, especially if you're win streaking, that's why we are already level 5. And we have 9 gold here, but we win so we don't have to sell the Ziggs. Uh, yeah, that makes 10 for now and we get our item from our partner Which is a BF sword and I also swapped out Caitlyn for Ezreal here uh, Just to have another innovator make our scarab a little bit stronger and I think Ezreal is pretty alright in the early game So we put him in So for our items we have the last whisper and we actually got the IE from scrap here um, But other than that we got the BF which is gonna be IE later and we also got another BF from Carousel uh, which should probably be Giant Slayer later um, but it could also just be Zeke's so BF is just a pretty flexible item and you can make a lot of items with it you could also make GA if you were to pivot into Yoni or into Urgot um, so yeah our carry items are pretty much done and uh, yeah, we should probably focus on some frontline items. Uh, we don't have anything there and there's actually a Yoni here in shop so uh, that could have been the moment uh, to pivot out and play the around the Yoni um, which would have definitely been just as, as viable um, but I just like to play Jin, and I already have the innovators which you can very much use as frontline for Jin. You could use innovators or you can use um, bodyguards. So we roll down a little bit here because we are on a six game win streak and we kind of want to preserve that and uh, keep winning. So interesting little choice here, uh, the Heimerdingers and I think a lot of people would have picked it up here. Um, and I'm still not sure if it was right not to pick it up, um, but I will tell you why I didn't. So the main reason I didn't pick them up is of course money. These two Heimers cost me 6 gold and it's 9 gold for a 2 stay unit uh, which does buff my uh, innovator creature a little bit and uh, probably does some damage but you can see in the damage graph like he doesn't do really much. Uh, Heimer is not a carry this round and it's not itemized so I think it's kind of a waste of money. Right, so the second augment was uh, really a no-brainer. Uh, we take the Innovator Soul, uh, puts us at 5 Innovators. 
and we will most likely be able to run seven innovators uh, at level seven which yeah it's just amazing and we also get the gin here um remember we have high-end shopping so it's not that surprising that all these four cost units keep popping up here uh we've also put in the jenna just gives us the scrap and scholar and nice little heal for front line and back line give us some time just a good addition and I also really didn't have a better option here. Um, I think I had a Caitlyn for Sniper, but um, yeah, I just think that two Snipers uh, doesn't really do that much. Um, it's kind of a fake trade. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it gives you some damage, but Jin already does so much damage, so I'd rather buy him time and let him do uh, the damage that he already has, which is really enough. Okay, so we picked up a glove from Carousel, uh, which completes our items. Take a quick look at the board of my partner. He's playing Cat Reroll, which is still viable. And yes, he seems to be doing fine. He's win streaking too. So we can focus on the next step since we got our main carry. Um, I would definitely say that in ranked, um, I would have probably leveled here. Uh, I could have stayed above 30 and um, go level 7 and keep my win streak. But. Since this is double up and I really need some more gold uh, because I need a stronger board late game, I didn't. And my partner and I were already pretty strong, so I felt it wasn't necessary. But then we come up against this Urga player and this fight was really scary. Now they line up kinda nicely here, but it's a really close fight and this Kogma is also pretty strong. But my partner comes in. In the last moment and you see the Jin dies there, so we would have lost here. But again, since this is double up and my partner is really strong in the early game, I can greet a little. Anyway, here we are after Wolves uh, with the Jenna 2 and we also got this Yumi here which is nice. And uh, we put it in over the Ezreal if I can hit it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got the free scholar, a little bit awkward, but Yumi is kinda nice. And we put in the Orianna as uh, another just assistance. And I wanted to send over the spatula to my mate, um, but it was too late, so I do it next turn. So we make the Zeke's here, support our Jin a little more. And yeah, we are 5 innovators still, looking for Seraphine. Uh, that's mostly why I rolled, because I want that 7 innovator power spike. And also as a side note on positioning, uh, if you're ever running Yumi, and you didn't have to learn it the hard way like I did, um, Yumi is not a corner bait. Yumi attaches before Blitzcrank hook and everything, so if you have Yumi in the corner and your Jin right next to it, and then he's gonna get hooked. So be careful with that. Okay, so we lost our first round here after a 10 game win streak, and my mate actually lost in the same round, so uh, people seem to have hit their carries, hit their comms a little bit after a wolf, which is typical. And we didn't hit that much, or at least I'm still on Jin 1, so um, probably gonna have to roll a little bit later here, just to stabilize and keep up with the power of the other guys. But first I put in the 7 Innovator here, because we got the Seraphine. So let's see out how this next fight goes, and maybe we are strong enough with that power spike and we don't have to roll. Which is ideal, because I wanna get level 8, um, because with the high-end shopping I'm actually level 9 already. And I can just roll for everything and we're gonna be so strong there. Right, so we lose with 7 Innovator against this reroll player here. So it looks like we're not strong enough. Um, we hit a little upgrade here but it's only silly on 2. Guess it makes our Dragon a little stronger. Uh, let's see if that makes any difference. So this Yordle player here looks pretty beatable. Uh, he has Vex 2 only. Um, has a Heimer 2 only with, well, 2 items really. Um, some free stars in the bag, but they are not itemized, so this looks like an easy win. Uh, let's see if we can make it in time to get to our partner. Oh no, it was already too late. Uh, right, here we are after carousel. I took another Negatron, so I can make the Dragon Claw, which will be transferred later, of course, to Jace. But for now, Singed can have it, uh, he's her front line together with the dragon, and so you give him all the tank items, and wow, this fight here got absolutely obliterated by this Lux. This Lux too, with the crit items, just one shot my entire team, and the fight lasted like 3 seconds, so that was kinda unlucky. Uh, yeah, so uh, for the second augment here, we got a Windfall, which would've been nice, uh, it's 30 gold, so it's uh, 
uh, pre-patch. Um, it's 45 gold now. Uh, 45 gold is crazy. I took it like recently and 45 gold is just absolutely insane if you get it as a last augment. Um, but we took the three loaded dice, uh, which are always uh, nice. <laughs> That's a random. Uh, because we wanted to go for a free stuff forecast, remember? Um, so loaded dice should help with that a lot. So we got this last fight here before Raptors and um, looks like we can snatch a win but the other guy's teammate is coming so oh that's another Urgot too. Yep that's a rip here. Um, so here we are after Raptors and now we're gonna go level 8 and also made this Orianna to it just out of habit of playing Heimer 3 and Innovators but doesn't really fit here because we already have two clockwork so I just roll a little bit down and we got a Kali, another Kali, and I got Jin 2 finally. And kind of a mistake of this game is not keeping the Akalis here uh, for my teammate. I don't really know if it's a mistake. Um, so it had some fault behind it. It wasn't just that I'm an anti-mate and I just a bad teammate and I suck. Um, the fault was that I need a lot more gold if I want to hit the Jin 3 and also not really selfish in my opinion because the Gen 3 is gonna win the game for both of us whereas I'm not sure if Akali can, 2 can do the same. Um, it's also really strong but I think uh, the 3 star Jin is just a guaranteed win so I wanted to save some money here. Uh, feels bad for my partner <laughs> that I'm not gonna give him the Akali 2 and let him have a stronger team, but you know, that's just how it is in this modes. One game, you are the strong carry guy and you hit the, the exciting 3 star or 2 star legendary with perfect items and the other game it's uh, the other guy. Um, so this game it was me, um, but another game it was him, so uh, that's just uh, the way it is in this mode. Right, so I didn't have a loaded dice table on, uh, you can find them online everywhere. Uh, so I just put it on Jin, and we found three Jins, uh, so we were pretty close. And as you can see on my mate's board, he already has uh, one Jin too. So we only need one more, one more Jin to go, and then we should be really strong. I mean, look at this guy. He has a Warmox, a Thorn Mail, and the Titans on his Gallantry. So that shit's pretty much unkillable unless I hit that Jin free. Uh, yeah, so you really do need it. And there it is in the last roll, you love to see it. Um, right, so we got it. Uh, just gotta wait for our mate to send it over. Yeah, it's just gonna wait a little bit. Let me, uh, you know, sit there and wait. Uh, but there it is. There's the Gin 3. And now we should be really strong. If you haven't seen Gin 3 in action, then be prepared. He shoots super fast and yeah, he's just really strong, as he should be as a 3 star forecast. But I really like uh, the fact that he shoots faster, it's just his auto hits and his all shots, um, which there's no difference between 1 star and 2 star, um, but it's a big difference uh, in the speed of his ult uh, in 3 star, and I really like that, it just makes him feel a lot more powerful. Yeah, that fight was super weird. Somehow my whole team got one shot again, but then again his team got one shot and I kind of won in the end. Uh, I should probably look at this in slow motion to see what happened, but um, kind of weird, but we won, so uh, I'm not complaining. Okay, so between two rounds, um, someone died, and that reset basically the matchmaking, uh, so you can face the same opponent again, as I do in this fight. But uh, we put the Seraphine a little bit more to the right, I think, and um, so the Lux didn't one-shot my Jin, um, therefore we win easily. Right, so next up we got this Jinx player here with the Yumi 2, um, I think we got enforced. So this is a little scary, but then he wakes up and he's here to just destroy everybody. So <laughs> Jin Reef, um feels pretty good, I'd say. Um, yeah, feels pretty good. And for the rest of this game, there's not really much left to do, another person died right here. And if you're wondering if I should go 9 here, my answer is I could have. But what am I really gonna put in at 9? That's the question. And I'm already at level 8 um, with the chance of being 9. I mean, with the roll chance because of the high end shopping. So there wasn't really that much reason for me to go 9. Um, I think I just stayed 8 and rolled my legendary 2 stars. 
the the one thing I kind of regretted not doing this game um, is rolling more units for my mate and yeah but since I review it now I can tell you what would have been the right play <laughs> so um, since I'm that healthy and that rich and uh, strong already I should have definitely rolled as I said earlier for Akali 2 and but maybe uh, like Braum 2 or Yoni or whatever uh, but okay, Yoni's not gonna make him that much stronger, but Akali 2 would have been really nice and he probably would have found a way to fit it. Um, yeah, so we should have done that. Uh, roll down here, keep all the legendaries to increase our chance for the legendaries we actually want. Roll down, skip Akali here because we are a bad teammate. Uh, we get the second chase, roll down some more, skip more Akalis. Roll down some more. Let's <laughs> give even more Akalis. Oh my god, it's kind of hard to watch. Um, and we also didn't hit the Jace 2, but we got Yumi 2, so that's pretty nice. And that's only Jace left now. So with all these upgrades, we're pretty much unbeatable. Uh, there's a Galio 2 here, but our Jin 3 should just... Okay, he got <laughs> he got one shot, uh, so that's a little bit rough. Um, but yeah, to be expected uh, from a full damage itemized 3-star uh, forecast. Uh, so here's the last item. Took the Morello for Yumi and here's our Jace 2. And yeah, you can see my mate has a sigil left too. And while you enjoy this little fucking round at the bottom left. Um, just a quick side note, uh, most of you who watch this video are not subscribed. So if you enjoyed this video, then maybe consider doing that. And for those who are subscribed, thank you very much. And thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.